Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to create a poster with Tux Paint and it's for children aged 5 to 7 years old. To do this lesson you'll need to make sure that Tux Paint is installed on your school network and that the IT department have configured some settings. Now the settings for where the children will print their work to and where the children will save their work and whether they want to have the sound effects on or off. This is the Tux Paint website to download the software from. Now, they'll also need to think of an activity for the children to draw or write. But today, as an example, I'm going to do activities which are all based on drawing an animal's habitat. The concepts taught in today's lesson are combining text and graphics, the use of editing tools, the use of layers, so which images become the front layer and which become the back layer, and also the use of perspective, so having some images smaller at the top so they look further away. The easy activities today are to use one of the custom backgrounds which already comes with Tux Paint. Then the children will use the stamps and the resize stamps tool to put images of animals and then finally they'll write about their image using the text tool. So let's have a look at how to do that. Now I've got Tux Paint in, done in a window but it's also possible to have full screen. So we can firstly go to new and this is where the backgrounds are. In. Now the top ones just have colours, but right at the bottom are some nicer photos. So I'm going to use this tree and do a bird scene for my habitat. The stamps are located here, and uh, make sure that the IT department have installed the stamps. They come as a separate package, otherwise you'll only have just have the penguins, which come here. So it's not just birds and frogs. If you go down to this arrow, you can see lots of different animals. Okay, and it goes to underwater animals. So I'm going to select one of the birds. Now tell the children that when they move the mouse on top of the scene, you know, there'll be a silhouette of how big the stamp's going to look like. And then when they press, the stamp will be that size. So I'll just show you another example of this one. This is a little bit too big. So I'm going to use this resize tool. And then next time when I press it, it'll be much smaller. Okay, on to a different bird. Let's see, that's the rainbow lorikeet. And it's too big, so I'll use the resize tool once again. All right, so after the children have used the stamps, they can then go down to text and write about their image. And this is where you can show them some different colors. If they, of course, if they have a dark background, they're going to want to write in a light color. These are the fonts, and this is how to change the size of the fonts. You can see it gets smaller and bigger. So, this is my bird habitat. So then I need to use to make the text smaller scene, and then I can click. Now to tell the computer that they've finished using the text box and they've finished editing and it's exactly where they want to go, uh, they can press enter, or on some keyboards it's return of course. And then you can see that it's finished. The medium activities today are to consider layers, so children need to think about what they put first on the screen and that will become the back layer, and what they put on top of that to become the front layer. To use the other tools, the draw, shape and line tools. To consider perspective, so to get the images looking like they're further away, put them up the top of the screen and make them smaller, and to use the magic effects. So let's have a look at some of these activities. So to get started, I'm going to create a shape using the ellipse tool, and it's going to be a lake. So I'll use the blue, and I'll put it at the back, smaller. Now Tux Paint gives you the option to rotate this shape before I click the mouse, but I just like it straight. So that can be my lake. And then I'll put some fish in the lake by going to the stamps tool, and going up the top, and I want them to be quite small. So once again, check how big it's going to be before clicking the mouse and then use the resize tool down here. So little fish. Alright, now we can go to the magic tool and a good activity for this one is the flowers. So we can go to flower and when you select one of the colors down here it makes a flower in that color. So just click the mouse to let go. Orange. And let's see, one more can be red. 
Alright, now I'll put some animals to go at the foreground, so I need to make sure they're bigger. And that can be uh, an elephant. Let's just check how big that's going to be. That's too small, so I'm going to make it bigger. And the elephant can go there. And giraffe. Let's check how big that's going to be. Yep, that's quite good. And a hippopotamus as well. Now that can be going to the lake, so I'll make that smaller and put it at the top a little bit bigger. Alright, so another magic tool to be used for this activity is grass. Now that is a really good tool because that puts it in perspective automatically. It gets smaller when it gets up the top. So I'll use the grass and it comes pretty quickly. It might be best for the children to click the grass to not get too much come out at a time. And I'll continue when I've finished putting the grass down. Now that I've done my grass and it's looking more in perspective with animals smaller at the top, and I've thought about layers with some animals at the front here behind the grass, I can now go and put in some arrows. And to do that, I'll use the paint tool. Uh, the children might be wondering what this button here is, and there are literally millions of colors if they select one of the options from here. So I'll use this dark color and then just press once and it will put a nice arrow there. I'll select the red and do another arrow over here to write about the elephant. Now we can go to the text tool and choose the dark color so we can see it and then start writing the sentence. So now you can see my finished picture. I've gone for a realistic picture about habitats. Other buttons to mention are of course the undo button if children make a mistake or if they click eraser, and there are many different shapes of erasers, whether they want a small square or a large square. Now if you're going to allow the use of the magic button, just tell the children to be really careful because they can quickly wreck their whole picture. Um, for example, one of these waves buttons, when if I click that, it, will, it looks nice and wavy, but then we can't read anything. So there's a good idea to just let the children play as a free time painting activity for the first five minutes to see what the things do and then if you're going for more of a school a realistic type picture like I've tried to do today then stay away from magic. Alright so the children will love using Tux Paint I've used it many times before and I hope your class does too. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides using this tutorial visit letslearncomputing.com I'm Todd Colwell Thanks for listening.